Hey guys, what's going on? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today. Thanks for tuning in. And today I got a really good video with you guys. I'm going to go over what I consider are the three best walking top waters and sort of give you my explanation why I feel that way and maybe some tips on how to fish it and you know let you know why this is a really good time of year to fish it. So real quick before we just get started here, just want to remind everybody that this Thursday from 6 to 9 p.m., Johnny and I have our next virtual seminar on fishthemoment.com. Uh, we're going to be talking about all the northern lakes, uh, fisheries up there. I'll be handling the smallmouth area. Johnny will be taking care of the largemouth. So you can go ahead and sign up for that at fishthemoment.com if you're interested. I think we've got a few spots still left open for it. Hope to see you there. And also just wanted a quick reminder to, if you hadn't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. I've uh, got a good giveaway coming up here in the next day or so. Uh, once we hit 40,000 subscribers, got a bunch of beef jerky to give away. Seaguar fishing line, solar bat sunglasses. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe button and be to be eligible for that. Much appreciated. Okay, walking top waters. Let's talk about this a little bit. Man, these these things have been around forever. They're uh, one of the oldest type of top waters there is. I'm thinking that they there was the Zare Spook came out in a wooden model back in the 50s. So it's been productive for you know 60 years, and it still is a walking top water in my opinion is probably the best fish catching top water there is uh, in certain situations. I love to fish them. You know, I just, there's nothing more exciting than a strike on a walking top water. But guys, there's so many of them out there. There's so many different styles, um, actions, profiles, that type of stuff. Every company out there, sort of like a square bill crankbait, everybody out there has got a walking top water now. And I'm gonna sort of go over what my three favorite ones are and sort of explain to you why they are you know and i've fished them all man i fished a ton of them and uh these are the ones that i'm going to sort of go through a little bit before i get into it i want to talk a little bit about color specifically um, i'm not going to talk much about color once i get into that but i'm going to give you guys sort of the foundation as far as color i let the sky condition and the water clarity dictate the color that i fish if i'm fishing clear water you know brighter conditions i'm always going to more of a translucent finish uh, something that the fish can see through a little bit it just doesn't telegraph itself quite so much and as the water gets a little bit dirtier or the the light conditions go down that's when i'm using the flat finishes like the uh, solid uh, finishes like the uh, bone colors and that type of stuff so color can make a big difference as far as strike generation on the thing but it varies. It's, it's, it's like if people ask me, it's like, what's your favorite color of top walking top water? I can't answer that until you give me the conditions surrounding it. And then I can give you an answer. Okay. Let's get into the three, my favorite here. I'm going to start out with the old school Zara spook, just the old school head and Zara spook guys. This is still one of my favorite walking top waters that there is. This is the original deal, man. Basically every walking top water out there, has sort of imitated or tried to mimic the Zara Spook what it does. You know, just the classic, you know, walk the dog action on there. And there's something about the profile of this bait, the way that it walks, the way that it comes through the water, the way that it sets in the water. The bass are just really attracted to it. There's certain lure profiles out there, for whatever reason, generate a lot of strikes that we don't really fully understand. Because I'll take, for example, like the Bandit 200 crankbait. The Bandit 200 crankbait is, it's a fish catching crankbait, but it's got the quality control and the components on the thing are terrible. So it's got cheap split rings, it's got cheap hooks. You know, it's, you can tell that the bait doesn't cost much to produce, but it's a fish catching bait for whatever reason. And the same with the Zara Spook. I like the Zara Spook under a wide range of conditions. It'll catch fish in the clearest water. It'll catch fish in dirty water too. Again, if I'm fishing those dirty water conditions, I'm going to the more, you know, flat finish, uh, you know, not necessarily the brighter colors, but the, the flatter finishes uh, that don't, you know, like the sexy shad that, that aren't translucent. And if the sky conditions are clear, that's when I'm going to like the see-through ones like this. But Zara Spook, definitely one of the top of all time. The next one I use is the Mega Bass Diamante. The Diamante, as you can see, it's about a little bit bigger than the Spook, not much bigger on there, same basic profile. But the difference on the Diamante over the Zara Spook is you have a light, a lot tighter side-to-side -side action on the thing. And it tends to spit water a little bit more. 
while the Zara Spook, you know, you can walk it, you can go it like that and slow it down and have a real wide side to side. The Diamante is more narrow like that. And the time that I like a narrow wobbling walking top water is if the water's a little bit warmer and a little bit clearer because I can fish, fish it a little faster. Why I fish the Zara Spook a lot of times, I'll fish it super slow. I'll just twitch it and let it stop, twitch it a few times and let it stop because it's got that real wide side to side action. The Diamante, it has that tight action and I work it fast across the surface and it's almost like it just skipping through the surface a little bit. And if you're fishing in clear water conditions, bright sunny conditions, um, warmer water, that type of stuff where the fish are more aggressive, I get a lot of strikes on the Diamante. Okay, the third one I fish, there's three different ones basically, and I fish some oddball ones, but these are the three mains that I fish, is again the old Mega Bass Giant Dog X. This bait's been around a long time. Here's the size comparison with the Spook. It's a little bit smaller. Um, there's actually a Dog X that's even smaller than this, but this is called the Giant Dog X. And the thing that I like about the Giant Dog X, it's a finesse walking top water, but it still has a big enough size to generate a lot of strikes. This is a subtle walking top water. It, it walks wide. You can do a lot of different stuff with it. It's light enough where I can walk it real slow and stop it, or I can fish it super fast and it works really good fast. Um, and the main reason I like this is it's the diversity of the way that I can walk it. You can really control this bait based upon your rod tip manipulation a lot of different ways. This is uh, one of my top choices if the water's clear. Water's clear and the water's calm. One thing about the Giant Dog X um, versus the uh, Zara Spook is the Zara Spook, you can work it if you got a little bit of a chop on the water, but the Giant Dog X, you gotta have calm conditions or very little wind because it'll tend to nosedive and go under the water if you got any chop. So the conditions that I fish the Giant Dog X are if you've got calm conditions, uh, you know, bright conditions, it can be cloudy too, it can be real good too, but basically finesse type conditions where the water just doesn't have much commotion on it. So one of the best summertime smallmouth topwater lures that you can have. In fact, the best day in the history of my fishing ever I've ever had with the walking topwater was on at Lake Champlain on the Giant Dog X, caught over a hundred bass and probably 25 of them over four pounds. This was back in the early 90s before anyone really started fishing Lake Champlain. Um, practiced them for a Bassmaster tournament and I'd catch a four pounder, then I'd kick the trolling motor on and not make another cast and go down 50 feet, make another cast, catch another one. It was an epic day on the water. It was a super great day on the Giant Dog X. So anyway guys, that's just a quick video today. That's my three favorite, Giant Dog X, Mega Bass Diamante, the old school Zara Spook. Um, I'm usually fishing a combination of one of these three anytime I'm fishing a walking top water. We'll go into some more details later on as far as equipment setup, cadences, retrieve, different type of scenarios to fish it in, but I just wanted to go over what my three favorite were. So um, anyway, if you guys are interested in any of these things, I'll include the Baitworks links. Um, if you guys want to order something through the link I provide, it's a great way to help the channel out here. We get a small percentage of the sales on those. Much appreciated on that, and we'll be back soon with another one. See you.